FJ62 here. I just picked this one up recently, 1989. So on the FJs, the 60s, they started in 1980 and ran it through 1990. So you got the round light ones, those are 80 through 87. And then 88, 89, 90, you got the square light FJ62. This one's all stock except for a uh, Old Man Emu Manafraid lift. It's about a four inch lift. And some Mickey Thompson wheels sitting on 35s. ARB front bar with some rigid lights. And up top you have a period correct confer roof rack with a shovel axe, some recovery boards. Actually use, if you ever do this on a confer and you use a smitty built um, mount, you gotta do some a uh, little bit of Dremel drilling on it. But these are oldie, oldie but a goodie. The 3FE engine, so on the uh, the 60 series, uh, was a 2FE shared with the Land Cruiser, the FJ40 in the uh, first version of the 60. And then in uh, the 62, they moved to it the 3FE engine. And the 3FE is fuel injected, it's nice. It boosted the horsepower 20, so the, uh, the 2FE was 135 horsepower and about 210 torque. This one, is 155 horsepower and I think you got 10 more torque. I think it went up to 220 on the torque. So you're not going anywhere quick, but when you get there, no matter where you go, you're coming back with this bad boy. Now on this truck and on many of them, the hood and the roof, well, they get that patina. And I actually considered getting this painted and decided, decided no. I decided after talking to some friends, they said, man, you gotta keep that patina on the hood. It's part of the look. But the rest, the paint is amazing. So if I did get it painted, it would probably just be the roof and the hood. And those 35s, just so you know, they do clear. The one thing I did do is the front on these trucks, it's, it's a wider stance, right? So I think it's really nice when that tire is flush with the body. In the rear, I did put spacers. I put one and a quarter inch spacers. So that makes it a little bit more equal to the front. Sticks out just right in my opinion. I love that chrome bar, the chrome bumper they have on these trucks. Sweet. Let's check out the interior. Okay, on the interior of these, as you know, there's the common rip that happens right here. But guess what, I got mine fixed. And I called a company in Oregon and they want like 150 bucks a square yard of material. So what I ended up doing is I found someone who was selling a door panel. So I bought a door panel, super cheap, and I used the material off of this to put right here where it tears. And I got this seat fixed, about 150 bucks, but now it's nice. Got the original radio. Only 160,000 miles on this one for 1989. That's super low. And well, right now, fit my full size large specialized bike in the back. But if you have one of these, the lift. I think really proportionately that four inch Manafray lift does it justice and the 35 inch tires just look perfect on it. All right. The world of Land Cruiser when I was doing this filming here Oscar and Yurel came by with their new, to them, new FJ80. So they're doing some off-roading, testing it out. So in Holy Jim, a great place to uh, try out your Land Cruiser. A lot of people follow Land Cruisers. It's the love of the Land Cruiser.
Nice. And on the hijack lift, as I was mentioning, if you have a confer and you're going to use the Smitty built, you got to do a little bit of retrofitting. Nothing a, a Dremel tool can't handle. The FJ62, they made about 17,000 of them, so you can get one. They don't make them anymore. <laughs> and then uh, the previous, the FJ60, they made a little bit more um, from 1980 to uh, 87. But if you want the fuel injection, no carburetor, you got to go with the FJ62. And here's a great example of a California one owner, 160,000 miles. <laughs> 